Welcome back to the cursed times of Boris Doherty Mog Von Archibald. Technically the third, because our grandfather was a Boris Mod Von Archibald Mog Doherty, whatever his fucking name is. And our second character was as well. So, sort of technically the third, but obviously not really. Oh, before I forget as well, Humble have a 50% uh, off deal on all CK2 DLC. If I remember, I'll stick my partner link down there, but I don't really give a shit about a few pennies. It's just so you guys don't miss out on what is a really good deal that it's like 50% off everything, including Holy Fury. So make sure you go check that out. Go and, go and have a Google around. Anyway, we are still in the middle of a big old, very dangerous, very angry version 2.0 of the Black Death. We've already put up with one. Now it's come back again. This time that we are landed. So I suppose we've got, we might have a bit more defense about it. It actually might be safer to be unlanded now that I think about it in a Black Death because might have a harder time tracking you down because you're just among the city. I don't know. Look, doesn't matter. The point is we're in seclusion. We're safe. Everything is fine currently. It might change very quickly. Bear in mind our previous character and then his father as well or died super, super young. So hey, we'll see how it goes. This is what interested me though. So of course we are playing with the Jewish kings. What the whole point was going, take back the holy land and all that rubbish you have found your studies of rab rabbinic is, am i saying that Ra rabbinic literature very interesting moreover it causes you to doubt your own faith could judaism be the one true religion well it says you consider conversion to judaism despite the fact that you're shouting about finding the truth now the cool thing is this might allow us to even if it forces us to convert straight to judaism from orthodox we can once again go back to we can immediately basically falsely profess faith and then immediately go back to having it as our secret religion if we do that then it will allow us to found that secret society and then if we found the secret society we can do all sorts of cool underhanded intrigue related stuff we can set up our, our whole sort of uh, jewish underground network in the Byzantine empire this character as well is also intrigue based so we've got that we've only got intricate web we, we can upgrade that as we go along here that's fine but we've got 18 intrigue and we've got like exalted as well so that makes a lot of sense we go for the religious playthrough side of things i'm up for this i think it'd be really really cool because we so rarely play with the secret societies they are a really cool little mechanic i'm gonna say i found the truth and then uh, nothing happened what <laughs> um okay i found the truth or did I? Maybe there's more to it. Maybe we've got to wait a little bit longer. I don't know. Maybe us being in seclusion or so far with that. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it just takes some time. We'll give it... We've got plenty of time to kill right now anyway. Literally... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, all we're doing right now is, is just building up a shitload of gold and hiding from the plague like the big coward that I am. Okay, what have we got? Um... To prepare to, to immerse yourself in the, the mikvah, content in the knowledge, uh, content in the knowledge that when you come out, you'll be a new member of the Jewish nation. Like I've said in the previous series where we did start playing with this mod, I have l no knowledge of anything related to Judaism. So if I if I mispronounce something, if I fuck something up, I fully apologize. But I have I have zero knowledge on the subject. So uh, you have to bear with me when I butcher every single word I'm about to read. However, the rabbis of the be it din, tell you that you don't need to be a Jew to be righteous, causing you to doubt your decision. I want to join God's chosen people. Um, interesting. The ecumenical patriarch of our uh, changes opinion of us by minus 50. The ecumenical patriarch hates us, which is absolutely insane. We become Jewish, we gain zealous. Okay, interesting mechanic. If we take zealous, of course, we can't... We, we can't go for the secret society play the other thing as well is it, i wouldn't really want to flip to judaism unless we could take our secret society or at least falsely profess faith mainly because they've got righteous uh or religious revocation i should say in oh hang on they've got it in the byzantine empire but they don't have it in, in greece and we are part of greece right now our liege couldn't revoke our title in fact there's no title uh yeah there's no title revocation in greece so we would be safe, but I still would want to flip just in case, I don't know, is Greece a vitality or anything like that? Um, Primogeniture, so in theory we should be safe, but if the Byzantine Emperor gets the title back, he could revoke our shit, we could be up for a game over. So I'm going to be very careful here. I want to join God's good, good chosen people. Uh, excellent. Zealous is a good trait, though. Don't get me wrong. Even if, uh, even if we don't get anything else out of it. Praying in the chapel. Many people know. Uh, many people know that. Well, that's written weirdly. That has to improve my relationship with the church. Very good. Gain the trait Jew. There we go. Boom. We've been officially formally recognised. All right. So we are back to the old religion of our forefathers and ancestors, etc., etc. What do we do now? Um, can I? Yeah, I don't think I can falsely. Oh, I can falsely confess faith. Um, we just need to not be in seclusion. So it doesn't matter if you're zealous or not. Interesting. I suppose if you were zealous, you'd be more likely to carry on practicing it in secret, despite the fact that it would probably get you killed, right? You know what? I'm fine with that. Let's also compose a book in the meantime. Um, 
Complexity of War, Relationships, Family History. Family History would be cool. We could tell the story of the mighty Archibald uh, Wellington Smythe, who founded this... I don't think that was his name, was it? I actually can't remember the name of our first character now. What was it called? Archibald Lord Windsor Flipping Softly. How could I forget? Who founded the mighty dynasty, wandered the realms, and as a powerful knight, became landed in an unspeakable dynasty who broke our heart and turned the back on us. Honestly, it's an interesting story. I think we should put it to print. It's also probably the worst. You know, I'm gonna, I've, I've changed my mind. I'm going for intrigue. Uh, the family history runs, they only really give, like, what? Family opinion? I don't give a shit what our family think of us. Yes! Another one dies. Yeah, okay. Uh, dreaded play. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's a... Uh... Oh my god, look at how incestuous they are. Oh, wait, her mother is not the person I was thinking of. Sorry, my bad. I thought that this was... You remember that last episode we saw the two Diapianos married together? Uh, one of which was a Count, one of which was a Duke. I thought she'd upgraded, but no, it's a, it's a different relative altogether. Do they still control most of the Holy Land, though? Um, oh, the Byzantine Empire is ripping them apart. That gives us... I mean, it, it potentially gives us means to attack into them, right? We get independence, we go under the Basilius instead, then we can attack this guy and, and, and take some of the Holy Land. What have they got left? Um, Diapiano have a, quite a fair amount left. Let's be honest. Okay, this guy has also got a, a nice chunk there. Um, most of the Holy Land is still under Diapiano. De Normandy has a single province. These guys have a single province. They're also under De Normandy. Um, and who are you guys? Uh, oh, that's independent. Right, shit. So actually, the Diapiano house have everything in or almost all of Jerusalem. The only thing they actually lack is the kingdom level title itself. That's so weird. What a strange kingdom. And where the fuck is this guy landed? Oh, he's the king of France? Oh, that's so weird. Um, the Andalusian king of France. So, uh, this has gone a bit weird. Basically, all of the Holy Land belongs to Diapiano. They fulfilled our goal. Oh, and of course, we joined the Court of Brothers yesterday. So this is going to be something really cool for us to take a look at today. Gives us general opinion plus 20, which... Weirdly enough, does help out with plots. Of course, people are way more likely to join it if they like us more. Build cost is, is up, build time is up. But we've got a mountain of cash anyway, and who really cares about levy size when we are in arguably one of the safest places? Like, we're right next to the Byzantine capital in one of the most powerful Byzantine empires I think I've ever seen. They are, excuse me, I want to see the fucking, my god, man, get out of the way. Yeah, they are, they're massive. They're extremely powerful right now. So, I think we're probably good. I mean, rebellions and whatever else, but we don't necessarily have to take part in that. Okay, one of our most prominent nobles, Leonor, wants us to deliver a polished eulogy for her deceased son, Ermengau. I mean, you guys saw the eulogy I put together at the start of yesterday's episode. I think I can handle this, brother. I think I've got this in the bag. Oh, sweet, it's an automatic event. Okay, I arrived at the family manor, and I'm greeted somewhat coldly. Even the servants are curt as they bring me into the great hall. I know that death is likely hanging over the family. There's a 20% chance of getting humble. Oh, nice, we can also get some traits out of this, too. Very cool. Uh... The attitude irks me, honestly. Didn't they ask us to do this? We could gain proud. Uh, to be honest, right now... To be honest, right now, I'd be up for taking proud, really. I mean, we can get quite a lot of piety very quickly because we've got, like, Yom Kippur and uh, Passover as well, both of which can give us some, some piety if we need it. Why don't we go for... I'm going to go for pride. Oh, oh, I hope we can get pride out of this. I might also... That's probably not the best idea, is it? To turn up and be like, what the fuck? Aren't you treating me like royalty? I sit with Leonor for a while and gently talk about the dead. They weren't the kindest person in the round. The family asked me to make them sound much better than I feel like they were. Holy shit. Um, I've got to do it, haven't I? I've got to fuck up this funeral. I have to do it. I can't not do it. It's 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 part of the channel, okay? Agreed. There's no point speaking all of this. Teaser. You know what? We'll agree privately, but I'm going to write it more honestly than they might like. This guy was a, uh, an absolute fuck. Oh, no. The day of the funeral arrives, and I take my place, clearing my flo- <laughs> Oh, how ironic. Day of the funeral arrives, and I take my place, clearing my throat. Throat? Day of the funeral arrives, and I take my place, clearing my throat. I begin to read the work gathered. You probably should have got someone else for this. Clearly, I'm fucked. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Not only does Leonor seem more displeased as I speak, the family also looks mortified. Oh, shit. We failed the mission, the eulogy. 20% um, chance of losing one diplomacy, and we become bitter rivals. We'll also get some god of it. Why would... Oh my god, I hope I don't lose diplomacy. Oh my god, we did? I mean, it was... It was pretty funny, though, wasn't it? It was pretty funny. Um, damn it. Okay, I need to not do that in the... I don't know what I expected. I was kind of hoping for... Something. The plague's starting to recede. Look, it just left the first originating provinces. That means we haven't got long... Oh my god, it's living. What the fuck? Is that a fish? There we go. Open the gates. Here we go. Let's go write some more eulogies. Open for hire. Eight living members. Holy shit, and you guys are up against the spy master expert of the a saxophone dynasty. You guys are all dead. 29%. You guys are very much alive. You are not dead in the least, my bad. Uh, that guy is is 
around somewhere, and they're all in seclusion still. That probably wouldn't help. Wait for them to. Uh, we'll see if the player can thin out some other ones. But then I'll I'll be I'll be hunting down the survivors. And obviously, when we get this general opinion, that would help out quite a lot, especially now that I've just. <laughs> just fucked our diplomacy score even more. Henri Diapiano died of the dreaded plague. There are seven members left. Holy shit, this guy had a lot of kids. Okay, he's been a thorn on our side then. So can I assassinate any of them now? No, really, we can't, even though they are out of hiding now. This guy's still hiding away there. Like I said, we're just going to have to wait for the general opinion to kick along. So I did just spend a fortune as well upgrading buildings, like generally going for whatever gives us the most troops at this stage, be them keeps, be them militia training grounds, whatever, just crap, basically. I'm thinking, might be time for retinues soon. Oh, 6,000 retinue cap. Okay, it's nowhere near time for retinues. What's our military organization then? So we can put another point in that. There we go. Okay, so what are we looking at now then? 6,100. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have even asked. Okay, uh, cavalry is kind of a waste of time. Might just go for defense. Just for those who are in pretty decent stats. What do you want? Uh, we have for the safe release of Acha for the modest... Who? Acha, my court here. No, I have no... I've never seen this man before in my life. I'm absolutely not doing that. Right, let's buy ourselves some pipe. We might as well. Couldn't hurt. Well, we've got spare cash and everything else is upgrading. Uh... 39? She married? Oh, I should probably also say married. No, you moron. 40. That'd be a bit of a risk. The, uh, the king of, the king of whatever he was the king of, the king of Thrace's ex-wife, or widow, I pro should probably say, um, it's always that our liege's mother. Okay, let's see if she's, she down for it. She's down for it. She's 40, so the chance of getting a kid is very low, but she's also got lustful. Oh my god, she's also jovial matron. Jo jovial matron? Jovial matron? We might get something out of this, I'm not even kidding. Um, we'll take the prestige at this point. Man, that's a, that's quite a good wife to get. I wonder if her son would be up for uh, an alliance. You're not my liege. Oh, that's even better. Form alliance? Yes. Holy shit. That's a hell of a powerful ally to pick up all of a sudden. Oh my god. She's got the holy land. Ooh. Okay. Uh, can I change tactic a little bit here? Oh my god. If we could fabricate clams on her tiles instead. Damascus? We can go back to Damascus. Remember, that's where we, our dynasty was, was based for quite a long time. That's where we first became a baroness. Holy shit. Okay. Um, I've made a mistake, Yol of Londor. Can we move you over? Okay, we'll have to wait until I've... Oh, that was so dumb. But that's great, though. I mean, it, it, it's fantastic news for us that, uh, that in this zone, we could start getting back to that endgame goal. Very nice. So our wife has the same education area as us, right? She's educating intrigue. We're educating in intrigue. She can offer to help out if we're shit, which we are. So we can gain some tech points there. Um, also with opinion, let's retire to the bedchamber, my dear. Mmm. Okay. Uh, within the hour, you've laid the groundwork for a promising solution. Is it... Uh, are we also going to lay the groundwork for the rest of our dynasty? Let's try the bedchamber. Oh, they just immediately fall in love. I actually didn't even know that was an option. I always went for the top one. Um, mainly because I always assume top one good, top bottom one bad. Because, you know, CK2. Uh, fine. You leave your work and spend some quality time with Alexia. <gasps> How old is she? She's fucking 44 and we've done it. Hey, look. Lustful and jovial matron. A uh, fertility favor as well. Holy shit. Hang on. Uh, she's got more than I realized. We've also got the bathhouse too. My god, that was so fortunate. My wife, Alexia, is Perganant. She's 44, so this is the only kid we're getting out of her ever, basically. Oh my god, the tournament ends my tactics before we've lost... So we've not only lost one diplomacy today, we've also lost one marshal. Oh, a daughter. Okay. Uh, she's quick. Oh, okay. Wait, we're not quick, though, are we? And our wife's not quick? I guess it was a completely random outcome from there. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. If only you could have been born a son. Had, had, a, had, a, had a Sar been... Okay. You need a, you need a much... This is not, this is just not fitting the dynasty at all, is it? Marguerite Mayfair Jones Clappen been Boris the Saxophone. Welcome. Uh, you will be trained in the finest of etiquettes. She is born a noble lady with a noble name of, of noble stock on both sides now. Duke's on, but this is the first time we've ever done this in the campaign. Very nice. Um, I can target my... What the fuck? I... I'm drugging my daughter to make her like me. My infant baby tiny girl daughter. That's a bit strange. That's a bit strange. Don't do that. That's not... All right. Um, I'm going to sign her a guardian immediately. Thanks. She just got... Oh, yeah, shit. And then, of course, to give us to Ulrika Mary Theodosi Smythe Wellington, who has the, uh, the, the the shrewd, diligent, and patient combo of dreams for when you're educating anybody in CK2. Hey, brother. <laughs> brother, I've got to know what to present myself at court next week, and I don't know what to do. I'll never get anywhere if I can't look good in front of my liege. Surely you've picked up some good tricks and a few coins for your time. Of course, brother. Or, oh, I'll make you look splendid, all right? Um... We can try and, like, betray him and, and sort of throw him under the bus. Or we can gain the trait, kind. Bear in mind, last time, for the shits and goofs and giggles, I, I followed the, the, the sort of uh, betrayal tree. We wrote that shitty eulogy and then ended up losing a diplomacy. So, you know what? We've redeemed. We're a kind man. We're not a kind man. 
The next morning, I caught Sphinx, my my man, in after breakfast. You're thinking too hard, Italian. Once you actually have done it, you'll feel more natural. Let's go over everything a few times first. God help him. Sorry, what are we helping him do? We're having him get dressed, right? I mean, I feel like I've misread something somewhere. Finally stops writing enough to pay attention. We work all day into the evening. I bet we do. By nightfall, he's already looking more confident. Again tomorrow, then he asked me, handing me a few coins. Did we just... Are we just a high-class prostitute right now? A promising student indeed. 20% chance of gaining one diplomacy. 50% chance of us and him becoming close friends. Sounds sounds about right. Uh, we do get some coins out of it, though. Boom. No, no diplomacy, which is a bit disappointing. Got the seduction, folks. There's not really anything to do with it. We can't seduce our leech because she's still permanently away from court. Our wife already loves us, so... I think it's time. I, I think it's time to, uh... See her off. You know, I think it's time for her to... Move on to her next stage of her life by dying horribly, I hope. Oh, wait, we can't kill her. Because we're in love with her. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, that's shit. Um, damn it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, I didn't know that was a thing. We could swear and, and intentionally fuck it up and try and lower some opinion there. Okay, I'm going to flip over in that case to intrigue, folks. Because we need to get rid of her. Because we obviously need a new, younger wife capable of actually giving us a damn... Air. Let's spy on her. Now, this is why I picked this one. Allows you to blackmail, level treason charge against her, even murder her. So we might not only get a, a righteous imprisonment reason, which won't we just lop her head off, or we might just be able to bypass that and kill her dead either way. Let's see if we can take her out. Oh, how to make allies and influence vassals. Quality two. So we actually did write an entry, but there, what do we get? Uh, vassal opinion plus five. We haven't got our sword equipped. Are you a madman? The extreme estrogen? Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Um, right, okay. So we're spying on her. Are there any worthwhile plots to go for? I haven't really got any in mind right now. We don't really need to kill anyone, to be honest with you. We're just sort of waiting on the uh, cleanse fabricate. It's not really worth it, is it? Just kill some randomers. Um, can we embezzle from our liege? Because she's away from court, so I guess not. Okay, then. Um, I guess we're... I guess we're just going to hang around for a bit. A fool. You know who we could kill. Hang on. Go up the family tree. We go up the family tree to... The Diapiano Dynasty. Then we go down the line of the traitor. Sir Digby Chicken Caesar. Let's find his family members and let's see who we can kill here. So, uh, Gel doing the lame. Amir of Jerusalem is alive. Uh, request invasion against him. Well, I mean, of course he can't because we're different religions, right? Yeah. Okay. Plot to kill. 60%. Hey, that's not too bad. Let's see if we can definitely kill one off, though. This kid, this guy's shitting out fresh kids. Get out of here. Okay, he's actually out of range. Where is he then? Riem? 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 I have no idea how you say that, but he's way too far away. My god, I can't believe that France is out of diplo range from us, huh? Um, we've got this guy of Galilee. Now, he's definitely in diplo range. 64%. We've got this random girl who we are up to 80%. Although, she'll chance I'll be married off matrimony. The men we need to prioritize killing off first. So, you know what? Oh, we can also steal artifact. The finger of St. John. You can keep St. John's finger. I'm not interested in it. Okay, let's, um, I'm not going to say what I was going to say. Let's just move on. Let's, let's bribe some people. Actually, we, we could probably kill this kid off in no time. So, all we need now is a skillful spy master. We've already got him, basically. Um, no, she is definitely up to something. Where are you, then? I need to drop my spy master over in Galileo, Galilee, Figaro, uh, what am I looking for? Build spy network. There you go. Off you go, my wife. Hey, worst case scenario, she gets assassinated. No, she would never do such a thing. Surely not ever. My snoops overheard Alexia Coresses Cor Cor as she told shocking lies about her rightful liege, who, by the way, is us. That's us right there. Exposed and denounced her publicly, giving me a reason to... She's spreading lies about her. Alexia, Alexia telling lies. Took her in prison. Oh, well, now took her in prison. Oh, we should probably set our marshal. Because if we now... The issue is, if we now try and... Oh, this guy's not any better, but it also stops her, you know, potentially repel repelling this somewhat. If we try and imprison her and she flees our court, getting into force or somehow otherwise removing her from existence would prove very difficult. So I'm going to put everything we've got into making sure that she comes peacefully and quietly and then dies. Um, as in, like, goes to prison, that is. Right, let's uh, let's let some time to it. What have we got now? 91%. Thank you, Marshall. Very cool. Please don't fuck this up. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wife. This is tyrannical. This is tyrannical if I were to kill her, you say. Uh, okay, I'll just throw in the oubliette so she can die of natural causes. And that absolutely is not my fault then. Can we now request a divorce? No. See, now this is where we would probably want to use that truth will set you free, free thing maybe on the ecumenical patriarch instead. Um, torture her? That lowers her health as well. If I torture my wife, that's fine. You can't, you can't divorce her because that's sinful. You can't execute her. That's terrible. But if we torture her and then trick her back in prison... 
Fuck. Oh, no. Okay, so I've lowered her health a little bit. Now can we plot to kill her? We're still lovers. Okay, sorry. My bad. Silly me, of course. There, that's a fucking cattle fish I don't even want to go near. I have found out nothing new about her. We're going to make up a lie and say that she likes to take little boys to bed. That's fucking horrendous. Yeah, I'm going to hit her with that one. 80% chance she finds out. I, I, all I want is for her to not love us. And apparently torturing her and accusing her of pedophilia is not enough to do it. So... I don't fucking know, CK2. I don't know what... I'm also making a lot of enemies. I appreciate that now. Her brother is a duke and her children are both kings. So, this is dangerous. Um, <laughs> fuck. Okay. Off with his head. Who am I killing? Colbin, what did he do? He botched the treatment of my mother. Colbin. Colbin, you animal. Um, he's a really good priest, though. So, I'm going to talk some sense into him rather than just killing him dead. I actually was able to hit the button in time. So... This is kind of an issue here that you kind of have to play on speed one if you want to hit this button because for whatever reason, the camera can be the side to things only available at certain times. So it will just appear and disappear and we'll never be told because I'm blitzing through things here. Okay, so we now have the good side. Unlocks the entry decision that allows you to lose uncouth, gain groomed poet or general opinion. Okay, general opinion. Uh, good side. So <laughs> gain the trait. So just 30% chance of gaining the trait groomed. Done. I assume we failed then, which is why. Uh, okay. <gasps> she fucking just died wow oh my god i tortured him okay now we're not going down that route that's terrible I, I didn't do anything boris doddity did okay my hands are my hand there's no blood on my hands we're fine okay so i'm looking for a new better wife wife 2.0 um okay if we don't scroll too far down here hang on we don't want to do as bad as our ex-wife okay let's find a new prodigy um she is unmarried can I buy a favor yet? Still can't buy a favor. I don't know why we can't do that. Maybe maybe one of the mods adjusts the favor system because it's horribly OP. Um, hey, do you want to do you want to marry a do you want to marry a, a fine ass duke? Sayo would not consider offer from infidels. What about you? Can't buy a favor from him either. I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'll uh, I'll, I'll see what I can dig up. Right, genius. Then uh, I should probably also go for my religion because otherwise it's gonna be very difficult. Uh, she'll do. Caught here in, in, in Greece, a random lowborn woman. All she's got for going for is genius. She does have the low fertility, but we should be good. All right, no. We prefer a matrilineal marriage. Why? She's highborn. Oh, it's her... Okay, right. It's 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 his uh, brother. Um, It's her sister. No? It's his sister. Right, there we go. Sorry. You get a little confused in my old age. Nothing there. Okay, uh, she's 10. We could arrange a betrothal and see if that will... I mean, if they'll go for it, that's the best we've got right now. No. Um, Because we're at war with him? Excuse me? Are we? Byzantine Berlander Vassalization War. Fine. We'll mark it down to special interest because I really don't have any other options right now. You can definitely get a girl who's quick, but I'm going to wait for this war to end first. Then we'll obviously have to hang around for like five years or whatever to, to be able to turn her into our wife. That's okay. We're good. We've already got a, a pretty decent daughter there in the form of Marguerite Mayfair Jones Clap and Bint Boris the Saxophone, who has some pretty impressive skills. Uh, Quick's plus three to everything, right? Oh, no, I lied. She's she just got a couple of points in learning. She's actually coming out really badly. That's okay. How often can we do that then? Um, is it just with a certain amount of points? Has not used this power recently. Is that like a modifier? I guess we'll never know. Well, let's just have to wait again and, uh, just use it whenever it becomes available. Fuck me. This is ridiculous. Paradox, we need to chat. I tortured my wife. I, I accused her of all sorts of terrible, horrible things. She died, and now we're sad about it. You, you've got to play the character. I, that's something I said I was going to do during this series, but... It kind of went off the rails a little bit. I'll, I'll try with the next one. I keep thinking about Alexia. We're, we're trying to, you know, swy, we're, tr we're trying to, s to, to spy on people. We're wrathful. We're envious. We're lustful. I don't think we've broken character yet. We're shrewd. He would be, he would be up for, you know, doing the best things for the dynasty, I think. I keep thinking about her. <clears throat> she was the best of wives. Oh, my voice. Help me. She was the best of wives. She was the worst of wives. And without her, I do struggle to be strategos. Oh, how I miss her. We can gain depressed and celibate, which basically is the end of this character ever having any more kids. Or uh, wenching might make me forget her. 90% chance of gaining loss. Well, we've already got it. 10% chance of becoming incapable and basically dooming this character. We got lucky. We got very fucking lucky. We didn't. I mean, statistically, we were fine. But y'all of Londo, what the hell? Yo, y'all have lost. What? She decided to leave to an open court. A strange man, but also a deeply religious man. We will never fully understand him. Okay, I get it. We, while we were busy being strategists, he was studying the blade. Fuck off. Okay, right, he's gone. So he was incredibly good. We're never going to find a magistrate like him again. Well, he didn't fabricate claims either. So I guess it wasn't a massive loss, huh? Let's see what we can dig up then. So join court, preferably. Um, yeah, staff, Staffy, you'll do. You, my friend, are a beautiful man. 
Uh, how much is it going to cost me? 608 gold. Oh my god, we've got, sorry, 604 gold and we've got 603. That's insane. Uh, thank you. Okay, so what is that? Is that the county? What's a Torma? A Torma of Demand. It's got to be a county for the price, right? Yeah, it is. So we can get ourselves the county of Damascus. Once again, let's just make sure she is still under the same lineage so we can declare war and now claim Damascus. We're, we're going home. We are actually going back to where uh, glorious uh, Ulrika Mary Theodosia Smythe Wellington was first landed as a baroness before, of course, she was forced to flee because of Holy Wars. We're taking it back. We're taking it back, and once we get there, oh my god, we could declare, we could just declare regular wars. Border disputes, whatever else, sure, we'd be going against the war. Oh my god, they're independent. They're independent of France? No, they're not independent of France. It's just they've got barely anything. Uh, interesting. Okay, this could work out really, really, really well. Um... Should we declare the war for Damascus? Should we just roll with it? Should we just go for it? And that way we can start taking the Holy Land piece by piece. And then the Diapianos, we will actually be going to war against brother will kill brother. First things first, then. Let's send in the clowns, by which I mean our retinue. How many troops has she got? Twi tw how many? 23,000. Where the fuck is she getting those from? We've got only got 11k. Okay. Uh, I mean, we'll send in the retinue. But actually, there's not much point, is there? Because if we send them in, they'll just get smashed instantly anyway. What we should do is save up a bit more dollar reduce. And then... Oh, is our liege back? She's not. She's still, she's still away. Okay, I'm not being your commander. That's ridiculous. We'll save as much money as possible. We'll hire a shitload of mercenaries. We'll send our retinue as well. And then we'll just... We'll just see how it goes. That's the best. I've been building up a load of, as you can see, there are a lot of buildings in the background to try and help out with our troops. Oh my god, Margaret Mayfair Jones Clapper has been beset by high fever. She's got slow fever. Well, that's... Okay, call for a court position. We don't have a court position. Do we not have a court... We do have a court position. It's Colbin. It's incredible. Colbin, save her life. President of the court. He actually did. Holy shit. Uh, was that good treatment? Are we... She should be fine either way, right? Yeah, she's, she's more than good. Oh god, but we're not. Live. If you lose this fucking claim after I've just spent years fabricating that, I'm gonna kill you. I will launch your remains into space myself. How do I... Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, how do... <laughs> what should we increase here? Um... Tolerance. It's so obvious. D uh, d differing religion and, uh, uh, and culture penalty. That's like... 6.2%. Okay, it's not very good at all. But we'll take it. <gasps> Galden was assassinated. We're still trying to go for Gerard II of Galilee. That's another one dead. My god, that I, I want to be the one to finish off the Diapianos to, to obviously get vengeance against the Digby Chicken Caesar, but we'll have to see how it goes. To combat your fever, Colby and Rackman rep pieces of linen cloth. Thanks, my man. I'm sure that will help out, you fool. Malaise. Tips for Dora. Colby and sure you're developing camp fever. I think you're probably wrong. Is it is it slow fever in our capital? Maybe it was camp fever. No, it's slow fever. I feel like, Colby, you're not qualified. Is this man, has anyone seen his doctorate? Slow fever. Sack him. Sack that man. What is it? Mild illness. Minus symptom to treatment. If you fuck this up, I'm going to be so... Okay. He's actually done a really, really good job. Successful experiments. Treatment. Health plus three. And we've got a mild illness anyway. In fact, we've gained health from being ill. Welcome to CK2. We're plus one health up. That makes no fucking sense. Right. How is that one girl coming out then? Um, betrothed. Bollocks. Uh, she's not... Fuck. Okay. Let me, let me just take another quick gander around the wife market. Delirium is lifted and your temperature is back to normal. You have beaten slow fever. I, I feel so much better. It's like the 80s. Okay, so I'm going to marry this woman here. The uh, bedridden? The bedridden uh, syphilitic lunatic. Because she's got the genius trait. Uh, how much, what's her fertility like? Minus 30% from that one. And minus 20%. So she's minus 50 overall. This is a horrible choice, actually. She, she should be our last resort. What else do we got? Um... My sister like Hildebud. She's in hiding, so we can't marry her. Ron? What about what about you? Are you okay with it? Nothing. Not consider offer from infidels. Okay, fuck you too. That's why I went for it. She was the only Christian actually available. Um, let's try astute again. Just see if there are any of those kicking around. Oh my god, one wants to join her court. She's 32, which is around our character's age as well. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try her first. If not, we'll go for welcome then. Ru Ru Ruoni. Arrange marriage her to us. We could also try the whole set of free things. See if that... Okay, that didn't actually work. Um, I'm going to send her a gift to start off with. Just to try and... Can we demand religious conversion? No. Maybe if we marry her first? I doubt that, that, doubt that will help things at all, given our guy's track record. Oh my god, I actually did. Um, demand religious conversion. Yes. So she'll flip to orthodox? Because we are publicly orthodox, obviously. Right, there we go. So that's improved opinion with her as well. Nice. Now we just got to hope we get lucky with that. Um... What was our plan then? Right, Damascus, of course. 488 gold. We still needed a bit more cash in the bank before I'm happy with that. Are we fully reinforced in terms of... Uh, we could we could reinforce another 1,000 men. 
Local magistrate tells me that Narcissus has been accused of murder. I know words already out all over town, but they want to help making a judgment. If anyone can help you out with murder, my friend, you have you have asked the right guy. Okay, well, let's hope we make a little bit of cash out of this as well. Julian Diapiano is now known as the rich. He's got 2,000 gold. That should be ours. By all rights, that should be ours. Oh my god, speaking of murder. Fly, little bird, fly. Another Diapiano gone. Oh my god, we actually did. Ah, oh, shit, my complicity wasn't covered. Who cares? Not that they're... No, one, no one's really going to care about that because he's in a completely separate realm. I mean, we're now a known murderer, which is what, minus 10 general opinion, but that's it. That doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not bothered about that at all. Stone quarries turn out an extra. Oh my god, we're going to be able to declare war in no time. Here we go. I've arrived in Oleshi, where Narciss is residing in order to help settle this legal matter. Talk to the accuser first. There's a 20% chance of gaining just either way. Um, trying to shout their version of the matter at me. Oh god, do I have to actually focus on this one? Have I actually got to pass judgment here? Objection. I'm talking to the accuser. The Great Hall echoes with our footsteps as I enter with Im Im Imamadine. We sit, sharing wine as we discuss what's happened. Um, clearly, Narcissus is guilty. We just say that immediately. I'll also talk to Narcissus, see what's happened here. Try and gain just. I stole his portman in the, in the dark prison cell. I sit across from Narcissus. Firmly, I implore him to tell me his story. He weeps and tells me of his wrongful accusation. Who do we think? Who do we think? I shall declare a trial by combat. That's what I want to fucking see in my life. Okay, let's bring that system back. I just burnt my wife at the stake. I just burnt my wife at the stake. I, I'll be honest, I did it because I didn't want to get caught out. I, I don't want to be also hunted as a apostate here. And the best way to show that you're not apostate is burn other apostates. You know, me, me think that the Boris doth protest too much and all that. Okay, um, well that's frustrating. Just give me anything. Honestly, fucking anything we're lostful at this stage. Just, just... <laughs> Come on, please. Um, lustful, lustful, groomed. Oh, she's also got fucking great pox. Okay, not really interested. We go for the vegetable we found earlier. Um, this is bad. This is a... Uh, she'll do. Theodora. Theodora. Send, send her to me. We need whatever we can get. Halfway home, I received an envoy notifying me that he was actually innocent. Oh, dear God, what have I done? That's not my bad. That was... We left it to chance, right? How was I supposed to know that? Uh, oh dear god, what have I done? We failed the mission with 50% chance of gaining. Okay, so we're gonna gain either stressed or depressed, and we gained some gold either way. We were paid for our duties. We've gained depressed. Fuck. This society is is pulling no punches, is it? My god. 16,000 men, and she's got like... She's attacking three different people. Are you nuts? The Damascan Holy War, so that's one she's launched. Um... The, wait, she attacked this person as well? What the fuck? I thought that was our liege. Uh, oh, no, it is our liege doing that one. Um, and then that one's also... That's the Basilius. That one's our liege. And that's her uh, her offensive wall that she's fucked up. Uh, she's got 16,000 men. Actually, she's not necessarily losing. Uh, the assassins are back. Surely they wouldn't dare strike at me. That's no, never going to happen. Okay, we've got 1,100 gold. Let's, <laughs> let's hire some mercenaries. Let's get down to Damascus. And let's take back what's ours. Do I hire the Romans? What have they ever done for us? Not enough. Oh, well, certainly not for that cost anyway. Um, seems pretty good. 7,700. What have they got? Mostly light infantry with a mixture of light, cavalry, and archers. All right, let's do it. That's still not enough troops, is it? Shit, she had like 16,000, right? Uh, yikes. Okay. Um, oh, but plus our levy as well. Okay, we should be good then. Bring it. You are doomed, my friend. Declare war, claim Damascus. We could hire some more troops as well. I don't want to spend too much money on this. Even though it is it is important, I would rather keep the 900 gold for an emergency fund just in case she does win the war. That way we could hire the Roman legions in, in a panic if we need it. So let's not blow our load early. 20,303 men. We're just going to rush down the capital. Well, our cat died? We had a cat? I'm not going to... I'm not spending 372 gold on my cat when I could be spending money on Damascus. Get fucked, cat. We've got Wrath as well, you gotta remember. Like I said, I'm playing the character. Fuck that cat. Talk about poetry is really boring. We can gain double depressed, or we could take the bird out for hunting instead. Ooh, okay. That sounds good. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not taking attrition damage. That's impressive. Right, who are our best commanders? Shouldn't have asked. They're both crap. Okay. Um, let's, let's go and check out the, uh, the mighty, the mighty band of... They're all terrible. Um, okay, you're hired. Actually, some of these guys are really good. I don't know why it's giving us... A, it's also assigned commanders for you right there. Okay, then we'll get Ibrahim. So we've got 19, 18, 20. That's a pretty good unit. They're sending 17,000 at us right there. Can we... Oh my god, we just about beat them. I was going to say, we don't want them to catch us coming over the river crossing. Let's do it. We should have this. Look at our commanders. 20, 19, 18 versus 13, 14, 6. Also, bear in mind, we are playing on very hard. So we lose morale, they gain morale. That could fuck us. Let's see how it do. We have, we have lost. We have lost this battle. Why do I play on this difficulty? It's just not fun. It, it's just... Okay. Right. Send them home. 
Send them home. I'm, I'm bringing the Romans. Bring the Romans. You have angered me. Oh my god. Monthly cost 231 gold per month. We could have them hired for four months. No, I think we're okay. Thank you. Um, bring in the Arabic band. No, no, no. The Genoese crossman. Crossbowman? Oh my god, there's 70 gold per month. Fuck it, we can afford it. Bring them, bring them in. 23,000. I'm, I'm mad. Okay, so I sent in the Genoese crossbowman, which cost us a fortune, and I've also burnt down the shitty province just so we didn't lose the war. Minus 61%. Let's get to it. Where's our army gone? We've also got to be careful and dodge all this disease so that we... Yeah, but if we dodge the disease, we're going through provinces with no... Okay, I'm going to split my army in half and probably get fucking battered because we have no commanders. Our commanders are shit. And then we've also got shit troops. So this is going to be fun, but we have to do this. Otherwise, if we walk through the desert, we're going to take attrition. If we walk through the disease, we're going to take attrition. So let's be careful. You guys move there. There's our army. Uh, you stand there then. Let's stay in adjacent provinces. We just got a free load of gold there. Hold the line. Hold the door. Okay, move down, cut her off. Move across. Is this going to work? I, I feel like... Oh, okay, we need our best commanders here, don't we? All right, here we go. Here we go. Do we get d defense bonus from mountains? But we're reinforcing with another 11,000. If we lose this, I will be very surprised. Like, genuinely quite surprised. Um, Auto balance. Go. Come on. 20,000 versus... We've got it. We've got it. We've got it. Fuck me. All I had to do was buy double the army size. Unreal. Shit. We've only got 205 left. Okay, so we can fight this war for only another few more months. Jesus Christ, talk about the pressure. Right, go over to a capital, burn it down, take it. Come on, surrender. I don't care about you. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, what do you want? Commander? No, never. Have you seen this? Have you seen this? Is, this is all a fluke. You do not want this as your commander. We've got 135 gold. Assault, 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 burn it all. Burn it all. Um, We're up to 14%, and we've got enough money to hold this army together for like a, what, like two more months? What, how much was it? 34 gold per month. So we can hold it for uh, like another six more months, just about. <sighs> All right. Um, Go. I mean, I can't assault that down. It's ridiculous. You are a big bitch, and I'm going to end your life. I'm... No. Prevent round peace. We've got a favor? <laughs> you can... Oh, that feels fucking good. Especially after whatever that other series we had where it was constantly round peace. Yeah, you can get roasted, son. I was going to salt the, salt the earth with your bones. Well, you've seen what I've done to those Diapinos? I've murdered at least one of them. Okay. Um, and now the attrition is going to finish these troops off. To be fair, if the attrition kills them, we don't have to pay for them. So that's a win-win. 50% chance of gaining groomed. Did we get groomed? We didn't get groomed. Okay. Well, there's plenty of battle war score to win. We've got like 88% battle war score to claw back. So if we kill off those troops while we've got this army, make sure we've got the best commanders again, because that's uh, some some weird army mergery fuckery going on right there. Uh, 10,600 Scottish reinforcement. Other. This is going to be... This is risky. I won't lie. But she's not a maximum morale. In fact, we absolutely smashed her that time because she had no commanders. Wow. Okay, that was really good. Uh, and what's she going to do now? She's going to the capital. Chase them down. Finish them off. 46%. Just keep back and forth. Back and forth. We can afford this army for like two more months. We got someone prisoner. God knows who, but I'll take it. 58%. We've got this in the bag now. 72%. I think we've actually genuinely legitimately got this war in the bag. Let her armies coalesce. Let them come together. I'm going to split off the Genoese crossbowmen and sack them. Um, I'll just split off the... We'll split off the slightly larger army and whatever that will do. Okay. Merge these guys back together. Let's get the best commanders on this one then. There we go. The reason I wanted to keep... I didn't, I didn't want to disband a whole mercenary band. It's because we actually get commanders out of it as well. And they're much better than our crappy commanders. Right. 72%. We should be able to afford them. Should be able to afford them. We can just afford them. 4.09 gold per month. Okay. We're now in a winning situation. All you got to do is be patient and not get killed. Oh my god, I've spent a couple of days spending time I love hunting, reading, and visiting friends. Life does not seem as great as it did before. We have become undepressed. Excellent. Okay, so all we got to do now is just get... You are a f motherfucker. Did you seriously just hire 16,000 troops? How the fucking shit am I supposed to compete with this? We've got to disband them, otherwise we're just going to lose war score. Oh my god. Okay. Um. <sighs> Mr. Stream again is a trade to press because this is fucking. This is stupid. This is the stupidest thing I've ever done. Going all in. I'm actually going all in. Give me, give me some money, boys. Give me some money. Okay, we've got a thousand dollar reduce in the bank. We're gonna hire the Herculean Company. All heavy infantry. No more of this. Oh, you've got six thousand light infantry, but two heavy infantry will beat you. Bollocks that we get from bloody hard, very hard difficulty, whatever the hell we're on. 
Okay, so she's going to start clawing back a little bit of war score. She, she hired like 16,000, didn't she? she? This is not sufficient. Um, reinforced support for 400 per month. So if we're careful, we might be able to uh, might be able to outpace her here. Oh, but hers is also reinforcing up to 30,000. Bait them in. Bait them in. Bait them in. Bait them in. When the movement locks, watch this shit. Watch this shit. Uh, Twekli Itzil become bitter rivals. Absolutely. Watch this shit. Ready? Oh, you are so screwed. No, don't turn around. That was not the plan. Whatever. Okay. Jovian Company, join me, my friend. I'm going to bankrupt this round for Damascus if we have to. Kill them all. Wish Boom. No bankruptcy. Only profits. Right. Get on there. 20, 19, 18. Auto balance this unit. Kill them all. What, what have they got? They got mountains. Pff, gives a fuck about mountains. Oh, yikes. Okay. Hang on. Hire some more. <laughs> um, she's coming over to us, but I mean, we're going to catch her first. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna hire some more. I'm gonna give me give me more money. I need more money. Give me okay, repay that. Give me even more money. I'll take everything. The tournament. Oh, we get more Marshall. Please, fucking chip. We've done it. Oh my god, we, we've almost won. We've almost won. We've we've spent all the money in the world. But hey, you know we're earning money fairly quickly as well. So it shouldn't be too difficult to to pay off all of these debts when we run. You fall 115 gold per month. Run. So kill off a few, save us a few coins. Didn't actually get anything out of that at all. We need to just chase. We need to just rush this down. Um, I might drop half of this band. I think we kind of have to drop half this band, don't we? Get out of here. Okay, fourteen thousand still gives us the advantage, and we might just very much just be able to afford it. Uh, one hundred eighty sixty-one gold. Ooh, yikes. Um, so we definitely cannot afford it, but I think we could probably turn up and assault it down because the garrison wasn't have recharged yet. Okay, we can assault it down, but we can't afford them for the month that we need. Can I take? Can I do anything else for money, please? Uh, I will do actually anything for money. Like Basilius, any anything for money, nothing. Um, we're gonna have to split this again. I'm gonna take a subunit and split that one, and then drop half. Why don't we drop this one, and then see how much that costs us? Thirty-eight gold per month. We can hold them for another. We can hold them for another month. What of an epidemic? What are you talking about? The fucking plague again. Oh, get out of here. I don't care. Right, let's attempt the assault. Kill them all. 100%. That was the worst war anyone's ever fought in CK2. That was awful. That was... this. Is this what it's like going up against a character? This is what I've been doing to people all these series. Going up against someone with infinite money. Unreal. But my god, we have returned to the, the city. The city of Ulrika, Mary, Theodosia, Smythe, Wellington herself. Damascus. And where is it? There it is. We've taken back Extreme Testoster Town. Put that down in the history books. My man, you have earned your place with the greats. You have earned your place. The redemption arc is finally complete. It cost us everything. It was a struggle. It was it, Our man was depressed for a while. It was not a fun time for anybody involved, especially me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me lose my fucking mind. It's also... <laughs> it's also 20 to 3 in the morning, so uh should probably go to bed soon. Wow. Um, right, so here's the plan. Military organization up. Tomorrow, spend not a penny. Spend not a penny on anything but repaying loans. That's all we've got to do now with this guy. We have a foot in the door to the Holy Land. Now we can declare war as much as we like. The border dispute and we can fabricate claims. I'm sure eventually we might be able to launch some holy wars, shit like that. Then the religious reformation comes. Not this one. This is the wrong one. There's so much we can do now. My God. Thank you all for watching. This is going to take me decades to edit. I started recording this episode at uh, 23 minutes past midnight. So this is going to take a while to edit. Holy shit. Thank you to the patrons for making this all possible in the first place. Without which, I would not be able to sit here for 19 hours every tw twice a day to record these episodes. So thank you to the following patrons. I have to take a moment because my voice is killing me. Alchemia, Anthony Gawley, Sinekirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Bellic Strongbow, Ben Hoffman, Chesty, Croesus, Chris, Derek, DKO, Donald, Fukuna Vasquez, Gogolus, Harik, Harry McGowan, Huey Longdong, Iguana Squad, James Shea, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Kane and Carter, Michael Mullen, Nostrus, Necrophilin, Odie, Pelvis Presley, Paul, Rodin, Scott, Skaz, Slippy Nips, Somnus, Shea, The One Ring, Tom Terror 18, Tyler Kennel, Tyler McClam, Vacuous Backers, Varagon, and William Green. Thank you all for your support, the insane tier lovers on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible in the first place. Thank you for enabling me to spend many hours playing this game that has taken years off my life. Genuinely, when I die at the ripe old age of next week, so 47, 
Paradox, you've only got yourselves to blame. I'm not 47. Thank you to Uwu Daddy, Aslo, Anna Person, Adrian Ellison, Alex Bogard, Aiden M, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anchor, Artem P, Astro, Attila, Betamus Max, Better Balloon, Blood for the Blood God, Brittany Lee, Bun Gun, Chris, Corgi Circus, Codzell, Dapper Go, Derek F, Don, Don227, Dylan F, Emerald Beam, Foosh, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Gothamo, Gray, Haji Dumar, I'm Sagatair, I see the Great, Jackson P, Erotha, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, Jason Sushu, Jose, Jeebus Cross, Dioran DeVries, Jessica Smith, Jobs Lucky, Sister Jelly Vondel, Joseph Beer, Justin Rules, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Kevin Saunders, Kane, GB, Lepus, Layla, Luan and Thomas, Luke Wallace, Manuel Bosich, Martin J, Mastolp, Monty, Mostly Samson, Munda Difflin, My Name Isn't Dio, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Olivia Kaiser, Organized Confusion, Pan, Samu, Panthapel, Paint Denisar, Kamara Ishmael, Rai Ace, Rosh Nolagart Billionaire, Brian Hooper, Sam Keir, Scap, Shardul, Silkworm, Smirtworm, Smooth Lutper, Socrates, Super Nanny 089, Sweetsy, Talar, Tioma, Tony Laban, Volta, Voodoo Mumbo, Voipin and Skiba, Wesley C, Will Wade, Wilson at F, Yellow 4, Yorker, Zach, and Zatlock 2. I think I got absolutely everyone on Patreon this time. If I've missed you, please let me know because I'm juggling like 140 something names. So if I've missed you, there's a strong chance I might have. I apologize profusely. Let me know and shout at me everywhere. And I'll make sure that you get what you deserve, which is that sounds like a threat, but I'm actually mean it as a nice thing. See you all tomorrow for Mr. Streamer's Big Vacation.